Hello, in this video, we're going to solve problem 132 of chapter 2. Determine the magnitude of the projected component of F, the fourth F, along AC, A to C, so along this line. So if you want to find the projected component of fourth F along AC, we can use the dot product definition. That would be our fourth F dot UAC. So here in this problem, I have the fourth F in Cartesian form. So I have my first vector. I just need to find the unit vector UAC. And what is the unit vector? It's a position vector divided by its magnitude. And what is the position vector? It's the coordinate of C minus the coordinate of A. A is on the origin. So the coordinate is 0, 0, 0. It's just the coordinate of C. So let's write our RAC and UAC. So RAC, the position vector from A to C, or the coordinate of C minus the coordinate of A. That would be 7i plus 6j minus 4k. I look at the unit system. Feet, I write my unit. Our UAC is RAC divided by its magnitude. So UAC. is R A C divided by its magnitude. So if I write, that would be seven, 10.05 I plus six, 10.05 J minus four, 10.05 K. So I have the two vectors now, vector f, the problem is given me, has given me the, the vector f and the unit vector. So I can find the component. It's just a simple dot product with each component. I multiply the first component here by the first component here plus the second component times the second component and same for the third component. So therefore, FAC. Uh, would be F, I write the equation again. That would be 30, 7, 10.05, plus the next component is negative 45. The next component here is 6 over 10.05. I'm going to write the third. I'll put it here. My vector is 50, and the third component here is negative 4, 10.05. If I do the multiplication, I get one answer, and that's negative 25.87. And the unit is pound here, not Newton or kilonewton. So I found my FAC component. It's a negative value, which means that the projection is actually from C to A, not A to C. That's why we get a negative value. But that's not enough for this problem. The problem is asking for expressing the component in Cartesian vector. So not only the problem is asking for uh, the magnitude, but also in a vector form. And how do we change a magnitude to a vector? We multiply it by its unit vector. So we we add a dot product to find a magnitude, and now we have to multiply it by the same unit vector to find it in a vector form. So if, if I want to find FAC, I see the projection on AC, but in a vector form. That's why I see this arrow. I need to multiply it by UAC. Here, it's not a dot product because these two are not vectors. This is a scalar, and this one is a vector. So a scalar multiplied by a vector. So what is FAC parallel? I have this 25.87. What is UAC? I have my vector U, UAC here. This is my UAC. 7, 10.05 I. So for these problems, because there are uh, Introductory problems, I write all the steps, but 
later on, we might skip some of the intermediate steps. And here I will get a vector, it's not a dot product. The result of a scalar multiplied by a vector is a vector. So my vector FAC would be negative 18i, negative 15.4j plus 10.3k. And the unit system is pound. So here I multiply my force F in a dot product format with the unit vector to get the magnitude of the projection. And because the problem was asking for the Cartesian form, here I had a scalar multiplication with a vector to get it in Cartesian form. So I use this unit vector twice, once in a dot product and once in a scalar multiplication because the problem was asking for Cartesian form, and that's the final answer. 